It's a splendidly gorgeous day in Bumbleburg. But where is Larry the Cucumber on this fine, fine spring day? Why, standing in line at Mr. Snappy's Extremely Gigantic Toy Emporium to be among the first to buy... Hola, Heidi! Master Larry, why must we stand in line on such a beautiful day? I have to buy Hula Heidi. Uh, yes, yes, uh, but don't you think you already have enough Hula friends? Well, I may have Hula Hillary and Hula Howie and Hula Hannah and Hula Harriet and Hula Hortense and Hula Hank and Hula Hallie and, and some others, but I don't have Hula Heidi. <laughs> Store's open. Come and get it. Some sort. A hero? Sorry, Larry boy. They're all gone. Someone just came in and bought every last one. What? All gone? Hula Heidi! Oh, Hula Heidi. Why? 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 Why did you let someone buy every last one of you? This cute little ukulele. Isn't he cutesy wootsy? Oh, take him away. I can see what he's thinking behind his pleasant Hawaiian smile. You don't have all the Heidi. You don't have all of us. Well, uh, Master Letty, you can keep jumping in the mud, but I'm going to go get ready. Ready for what? Why, tonight is the first night of the Bumbleberg Yodeling Festival. And best of all, Einger Warblethroat is performing. Einger Warblethroat? He's my favorite yodeler of all time. I've got to go get ready. Wait, Master Letty, you'll drag mud all over the carpets. Oh. Citizens of Bumbleburg, let's have a special Bumbleburg hooray for Einger Warblethroat! Here, Anger Warblethroat has been yodel napped. This looks like a job for Larry Boy. Don't worry, Mayor Fleming. Larry Boy is on the case. Oh. I'm okay. Later 
that night, Anger Werewolf Road finds himself trapped in a dungeon, along with the rest of the world's great yodelers. Where am I? Cruel ruler of Zokinia, scourge of Bumleberg, stealer of Yodelers, and schnappy dresser. Why have you kidnapped me? I use my fortune to get whatever I want. I love yodeling so much that I decided to kidnap Yodelers so they can yodel only for me. That's pretty greedy. And once I started yodel napping, I realized that if I was going to be truly happy, I would have to yodel nap all the world's great yodelers! Well, I don't perform for yodel nappers. Oh? I think you will! Ugh! Smelt flavored pudding. The next day, mild-mannered Larry heads to work at the Daily Bumble. Remember, Master Larry, if any of the reporters have any news about the yodel napper, hold the mop up to their mouth. Why would I want to do that? Because the microphone in your mop will transmit the information to the Larry computer, where we can analyze the data. Over and out, and over. Me okay good. Mop, make Larry go. Whoopsie down, bonk, boo on head. Owie bad. <laughs> oh, Larry, you always crack me up. <laughs> what a cucumber. I want every available reporter on this yodel napper story. This is the biggest story we've had since Officer Olaf glued his mustache to the garbage truck. I heard this goes even deeper than just the Bumblebird Yodeling Festival. Yeah. Yodelers are disappearing all over the world. And all the usual supervillains, Awful Alvin, the Alchemist, Lampy, are already in jail. Hmm. Looks like we've got a dastardly new yodel napping supervillain on the loose. Hey, that sounds like a good headline. Larry, what are you doing? Oh, um, I, uh, I, I thought I saw some grime on your face. Larry! Sorry. Don't mop me ever again, unless I specifically ask you to. Well, what are you waiting for? This story isn't going to report itself. I'm afraid this is worse than we thought. No one seems to know who the Yodel Napper is. Maybe Master Choi will have some good advice. <laughs> Why? Why? Why would someone yodel nap my sweet, melodious, anger warble throat? <laughs> you think he's gonna be all right? Don't know. Warble throat was Master Choi's favorite. I hope he's okay. I was gonna ask him some advice after class. Buck Choi okay? Uh, yes, I'm all right. Please forgive me. As a former superhero, I face tougher situations than this. <sighs> Tonight, I want to tell you heroes about the dangers of materialism. A hero should not base their happiness on material things. Can anyone give me examples of material things? Money? Correct, Lemon Twist. Fancy utility belts? Supersonic stealth planes. Good, good, Dark Crow. Any more? Uh, the complete works of Anger Warble Throat on CD. <laughs> Anger. Oh, Anger. My ears long for your golden happy sound. What? Um, sir, would you like to take a short break? No. I will finish the lesson. <clears throat> if all you want in life is more material things, you will be consumed by greed. 
you will always want more and more, and that will make you miserable. <sighs> Thank you. Now, turn in your superhero handbooks to section 21, paragraph 5, line 10. Whosoever loves money never has money enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with his income. Think well upon this lesson, heroes. Are there any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Who do you think Yodel napped Anger Wobble? <laughs> Ow. Um. Ow. Never mind. Ow. 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 So, did Bok Choi have any ideas how to catch the Yodel Napper? Well, no. I see. Uh, no matter. I came up with a splendid plan myself. You did? What is it? What's the plan? Tell me the plan. This is the plan? Uh, well, yes. Uh, you're going to pose as a famous yodeler named Noodle Blabberbot. Oh, I like the name Blabberbot. It's fun to say. Blabberbot, Blabberbot, Blabberbot. Uh, yes. Uh, then, as Noodle, you will hold a concert and allow yourself to be yodel napped. But Archie, I don't want to be yodel napped. Well, it's all part of the plan. Uh, you'll escape and rescue the yodelers with the help of some wonderful gadgets I've installed in this toy sheep. <laughs> Do you understand the plan? Blabberbot. 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 May I have the funny section? Cease your chatter and yodel for me. Yodel boy. What's this? Another yodeler holding a concert in Bumblebug? I must have him. But Granta, don't you think that... Who told you to stop yodeling? This noodle blabberbop says he's not the least little itty bitty bit afraid of being yodel not. Well, we'll just see about that. I am overjoyed beyond belief to introduce the talented noodle blabberbop and his sheep. <laughs> I mean, Noodle. What's wrong? Everyone was looking at me. Well, of course. And they came to see you yodel. But Archie, I just remembered. I don't know how to yodel. But you don't have to yodel. The yodel napper will yodel nap you. So, um... <clears throat> Did you hear the one about the one-eyed pirate and the cantaloupe? Come on, yodel already! Where is that yodel napper? <clears throat> okay, here it goes. <clears throat> yodel, 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 yodel. He's not even yodeling. He's just saying the word yodel over and over. Ooh. Hey, I don't care how bad he is, we do not tomatoes in this town. Things are looking pretty bad for Larry, uh, Noodle. So he realizes he has to do something, so he does the only thing he can think of. He begins to clog dance. They love my dancing. They love me. I clog my way right into their hearts. <laughs> kind of bad, bad person would steal a sheep. At last, I have the great yodeler, Nural Blabababab! Greta Von Grossum, 
So you're the Yodel Napper. That's right. Now stop talking want Yodel for me. Sorry, but I can't Yodel. Wrong answer. <laughs> I got putting down my later hosen. Yodel noodle. Yodel. I can't yodel because I. Just give me a sec to his back. I can do this all day. I've got a whole lot of pudding. I don't know how to yodel because I'm not really a world famous yodel. I am. That hero. Larry boy. And I'm here to save the yodelers. <laughs> She said, you'll never get away with this. I won't let you take away my yodelers. If I don't have them all, I'll never be satisfied. You know, that reminds me of something. Whosoever loves money never has money enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with his income. Reminds you of what? If all you want in life is to get material things like money or supersonic jets or really cool plungers or... Or all the world's great yodlers. Right. If you base your happiness on material things, you'll never feel like you have enough. You'll become greedy, and that will make you miserable. Well, if you think your little speech is going to get me to give up my yodelers, you're wearing your plungers too tight! Where are we? Hang on. I think I got a flashlight. Somewhere. Hey, do you hear something? Is that Hawaiian music? With their well-sculpted design and online auction collectability. In fact, I even bought every last hula Heidi at Mr. Schnappy's Toy Emporium! That was you? I buy as many as I can, but I always want more and more! Unfortunately for you, I've modified these hula friends to attack! Stay back! Let the superhero handle this. Plungers away! Cream pie away! Um, lava lamp away! Ah! Oh, hey, that, oh, that hurts, you know. Oh. Too many, any, any, I need, only, 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 oh. This looks like the end for us. Finder, quick, you're a accordion. You know any polka music? Sure do. Play a polka. The hula friends may be Hawaiian, but no one can resist the crazy syncopation of polka. <laughs> Larry boy, it's working. Never dance, please, that 
joints weren't made for poker. Now for Greta. You may have defeated my ruler army, Larry boy, but you'll never defeat me! My turn, Greta. It's about time you got a taste of your own pudding. This was And so, a few days later, with Greta von Grusom safely behind bars, the yodelers thank Larry Boy with their tribute to Larry Boy concert. Larry Boy and Toy Sheep, we want to thank you. Without you, all of us yodelers would still be stuck in glass tubes, fearing that pudding could be dropped on our heads at any second. Bumblyberg should be proud to have such a hero. I'm that hero. And to thank you, we've arranged a special yodeling tribute. Hit it, guys.
Larry Boy. Ow! Good show, Master Larry. <sighs> yeah. Whoopee. Oh, cool! Got to be 